Aside from working with the community, the government of Delta State have also been hard at work developing the state's infrastructure, tackling key issues such as power and transportation. Power has been a vast challenge for Nigeria in the last two decades. The government as a whole has tried different energy interventions, such as solar energy generation, but are still in the exploratory phases of this. There's no country that can develop without first getting its power rights. The issues of power are paramount when you talk about development. Because even if you want to set up just a small barbing salon or a hairdressing salon, you need power. And what you see today all over this country is that for you to start any business, the first thing is to think of how you are going to buy generators, how you're going to get diesel supply and all of that. That takes a chunk of the capital that you will have used to start your investment. For us to start talking about development in all its honesty, we must first and foremost get the issues of power right. And that is why we're concentrating on building our power infrastructures. Recently, the Delta State Government constructed nine 7.5 MVA substations at Ibuza. Uh, we discovered that over time, the few infrastructures constructed by the PACM is no longer sufficient for the communities. And the state government actually embarked on these ones. Actually, a 7.5 MVA transformer substation is a distribution substation. The state government has now decided to now step down from 33 kV to 11 kV line. And to do that, we need it as a transformer substation like the 7.5 MVA we have here. Initially, we constructed a 2.5 MVA substation. But over time, because as the town is a uh, increase in development here and the infrastructures, it was no longer serving the purpose. Now we had to construct this 7.5 MVA. With this MVA, we can conveniently, or we were able to construct up to about 16 distribution transformer substations. That's the 300, 500 kVA distribution substation. I can say that light, it makes us to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the area. It makes us enjoy our life. Even if you get all these, mostly all these uh, people having shops, you know, we had some of them have fridges and uh, so many things that you know, they're cooling something. <laughs> so all those things are, I can call it, is the thing that makes somebody feel happy. When you get to a shop now, you can buy a cool something. It's okay. There is some, but in this our area, in this our area, we don't have a light. There is no light since I can say. For how many years now? Like from this our place to Ogwashoku here, no that we don't even see light, we don't even smell it. As a ministry, we're also um, saddled with the responsibility of, you know, um, uh, education the people against such ills, you know, because these assets, when they are allowed uh, to be vandalized, apart from now being unable to render the service to the community creates double expenditure for government, you know, because then you have to refurbish them, then you have to build them again, you know. So uh, as part of our mission, we'll try and sensitize, you know, members of the communities, you know, to look at these assets as their own assets, you know, and keep an eye on them and, you know, try and discourage the activities of common criminals. Before, by 6 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock, everybody has gone home. You have to be inside your house because um, as you are walking along the road, people are, are jacking your paws, they are taking the phone out from you, forcing people to surrender what they have. Now people can walk by 2 a.m., 3 a.m. There was a time we had to, I went around to just to go and talk to people to see how they feel. And some elderly women and young ones who are really doing business, they can stay in, in, in out till 2 a.m. selling what whatever they want to sell. And once anybody is coming, you can see far off because it, the light is um, uh, fitting. So it's very bright wherever you are. So really, it has really uh, improved the economy of this of of the, of, of the city because um, people can trade anytime. You don't have the fear that uh, people will come and molest you. So that's um, security also in terms of security. It's very that like, has really increased the at least the awareness of the people, and people are sure that uh, at least 
they can stay here anytime. The street light is a major contribution to the government here and in uh, Wari. Uh, if you know the situation in Wari, is uh, a little bit um, in terms of uh, security. It has been a problem. And the government decided to um, control some street lights all over the town. So we are the, we are the one that constructed the, the street light. We have 21 substations supplying, um, being used to energize, to power the, the street lights. 